here and today I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own fall wreath. Isn't it cute? So what you'll need is all the stuff in your kit. So you'll need your plate with the center cut out, your two leaves of fall colors, and tissue paper of fall colors, as well as glue. Now before you start this project, make sure you have your adult's permission beforehand. They need to know what you're up to before you just start getting glue and doing crafts. So once you have all of your stuff, pretty much the only thing you'll need is glue beside your kit. You'll take your plate and you'll decide where you want to put the leaves because the leaves are the big piece so they go on first. So I kind of want to put mine off to the side. Let's say something like, something like that. So then I will glue on my leaves. Now, since my leaves are layered, I want to put the one on the bottom on first. Put a little glue on my plate. Don't need too much glue. And you can also use stick glue as well, whatever kind of glue you have. This one on. I'm gonna hold it down and press it so it stays right where I want it. And then I'll take my other leaf and I will glue it on. A little bit of glue right on the plate. And hold it. So now I've got my leaves on my wreath. And then I will take and put a little bit of glue on the plate and then I will take I like to crinkle my tissue paper you can crinkle it you can crinkle it up like this and then stick it I like to kind of put it around my finger and then stick it in the glue but however you want because it's your fall wreath and you may decorate it how you like Take, I put a little bit, a little bit of glue. Little glue goes a long way with tissue paper. So I'm gonna put that one on. And you can make a pattern with your colors if you'd like. And you can do all one color around the edge if you like. That is up to you because it's your fall wreath and you can do it, how, decorate it how you like. So, as you can see, I put a couple right here by my leaf just to cover up and you'll do that till you cover the whole plate and then you'll end up with something like this Ta -da! now when you're done if you want you can take a string and either tie it through to hang it you can tape it on the back or you can put a piece of tape on the back and stick it to a door a wall a window wherever your adult will allow you to decorate and that is how you make your fall wreath. Thank you. Hopefully y'all enjoy making your fall wreaths and decorating. Fingers crossed we'll get a little fall weather with our fall wreaths. Y'all have a good one. Goodbye.